Hi, my name is Ryan Steinelson, and I'm with Business Trends TV, where we highlight businesses that are setting trends in their industry. And I definitely have one of those trendsetters on the show today. His name is Mark Passerby. Mark, how you doing? Good. How you doing? Awesome. Mark is coming. Where are you coming to us from, by the way? Uh, Chicago, Illinois. Chicago. Is it probably a little bit chillier up there than it is down here in South Florida right now? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Mark, what Mark does is he facilitates his company, HD Hat, which he's the owner of, it facilitates mobile movie production and professional quality video and photo and photo production with on any mobile device. And I've seen personally the demand for these products. I was just I was just talking to Mark about this. And we've we've known each other now for probably a year and a half because our, our paths have crossed. He saw some of my my content on YouTube and and uh, we we've talked a lot about all the new gadgets. We're both kind of gadget guys. And um, b bottom line, though, is, is I was at the National Association of Property Managers meeting in Washington, D.C. about a month ago, and I saw a gentleman by the name of Todd Breen speak to that, to that, um, at that venue to the property managers there about leveraging the gadgets, the tools that your company sells and promotes to create amazing video walkthrough tours, etc. And I can just tell you that there were some jaws that were on the ground in terms of the quality of video that can be produced and also the way that those videos can be leveraged to significantly increase the return on investment that the property owners get when they go with a property management company that is leveraging these tools. So you're you're definitely a trend center, and I don't want to steal all your thunder, but, but uh, why don't you give us a little bit of a background of what you do and what, what makes you a, your business a trend setting company? You know, basically, you know, we take uh, uh, different uh, products and modify them to shoot very wide video and photos using, you know, an iPhone or an iPad um, so that, and, and to hook up microphones and video lights and tripods so you can take your mobile device and within you know a few seconds have it shooting uh, exponentially better than it did before um, you uh, were just using it normally um, so we you know we you know we basically just allow people to you know increase the the capacity of their current device and uh, we do it through you know our latest product is a universal system where it, it operates with uh, different inserts so we have inserts for like the the Note 2, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4, um, and this also fits the iPad 2 and iPad 3 with a tripod mount, a place for a video light, and a place to slide a microphone in. Uh, all that is just in one little plastic case that has a 58 in, 58 millimeter wide angle lens. Okay. And for the iPhone products and iPad, you can actually get another lens on the front that allows you to shoot super wide video. Uh, for some of the products like Galaxy and stuff, you only need one lens, but for the iPhones and stuff, you can use two for video, and it allows you to shoot really wide. And of course, the wider you shoot, the less movement it takes to cover a room, and the less movement means more stable video, more watchable video, less time to uh, produce a video of a, of a home or a rental uh, or something for sale, and uh, that means a better consumer experience on the other side as well, shorter video, smoother video. And we also suggest apps. You know, there's apps like Luma that have uh, all been leveraged since some of the latest updates. Uh, Luma allows you to shoot video, and as you're shooting, Luma stabilizes the video on the fly. So you can literally run down a road, and it looks like you're floating down the road. Wow, that's that's really powerful. I mean, that. Now, let me before we go. Before we go into, I mean, as you know, I'm a gadget guy. I'm gonna, I'm like, my, I'm, I'm, you, you, you had me at hello, but, but the, but the, <laughs> but the bottom line is, is let's just, let's just circle back to that, to the actual piece of equipment that you have in your hand there, because if I'm a consumer, I'm, I'm looking at that, I'm like, wow, well, what? Okay, so what is that? Let me, let's just kind of talk about the fact that that can be used with an iPad also. So it's an iPad device. But it, it's also it also can be used with those inserts with any other smartphone or any other gadget. That's why you call it kind of the the universal 
uh, the universal mount. I know that when Makayama first launched their Makayama mount for the iPad, it was great because then we could use our iPad and edit with the iPad, which is so much easier to edit with, with apps like iMovie, etc. But now you can actually use that same mount that is used for the iPad and use those inserts, which I think in, each insert is only like $99 or something like that. $59.95. And there's little, there's literally two. Uh, I don't know if you can see that there. There's a thumb screw there, and a thumb screw there. Okay. And you just uh, unscrew the thumb screw, and then it's a carbon fiber insert here, and okay. it comes just comes right out, and you can put the other one right in. Okay. And we we went with the 58 millimeter lens. I know you see a lot of iPhone products out there and have these little small little magnet lenses, and the video is all distorted on the edges. This is a very large lens with a very a uh, wide f front, flat front. What that does is it creates video that is not distorted. There's no edge fuzziness. There's no curve. Uh, even when you put the super wide on the video, you're going to be shooting like 17 millimeters of, of a 35 millimeter video with zero distortion on the edges. Wow. So, that, so, so literally you're almost able to capture almost twice the viewing area with, with the same standard iPhone or iPad. Correct. Um, actually, the iPad, the iPhone shoots 45 millimeter video, uh -huh. and you can get it down to 17 millimeters. So it's wow. way, it's more than half. Wow. Yeah. And and the other thing I want to I want you to show there, Mark, is you, how that how that lens actually slides in, so that you can use it with the iPhone and the other smartphones, and how you slide it out so that you can use it with the iPad. Yeah, let me get that ready real quick here. What I'm doing is uh, I'm loosening the uh, thumb screws right now. And, and, and let me also point out that what you've done, in essence, is you've taken the, the Makayama iPad mount and you've adapted it. You, you've, you've made it so that, so that people can use it for, with their smartphone, so that, so that there's, in essence, one device. I mean, it, you know, everybody exactly. wants just one thing. And, and so you've, you've adapted a, a product and made it better so that, so that it can be used for, so they can be used for any type of any type of smartphone and, and, and the iPad. Yeah, you can see it here now. This is the, the case. There's a couple of holes drilled here, which allow you to put more inserts in. There's a place for a, a, a hot shoe mount here for a video light, and then there's a, uh, a mount here for the microphone. Now this here, we reversed it for phones. So what you'll do is you take the lens off, you take your fingers, and you pop that out just like that. Well, then you then you put it right back in, and now it's ready for an iPhone. I mean, ready okay. for an iPad. So when you put your iPad in here, you can then slide it all the way up, so your iPad works. Gotcha. And if you and if you had the iPad in here and you didn't want to use the wide angle lens, you can just slide it down, and now you're not using the wide angle lens. So it's, now it's just a normal Makayama case. Yep. If you want to go back to iPhone? You just pop it up, flip it around, pop it back in, stick your insert in the case. Screw your lens on, put your video light in, slap your mic on, put it on a tripod if you want, and now you're shooting 17 millimeter video within seconds on your iPhone 5, 4, Note, Galaxy, um, iPad Mini, okay. uh, whatever insert you put in. Now that that's a that's a standard quarter twenty screw at the bottom of that. Yeah, standard qu uh, quarter twenty. Any tripod will work. Any monopod will work. You know, any any standard tripod or monopod. Mm -hmm. And then, and then those hot shoes at the top allow you to to uh, to to hook up or attach a um, a lighting device and also a microphone. So you you recommend using like a, a shotgun microphone. I, you know, those those microphones that we refer to them as the as shotgun microphones because they're a little bit longer. And I, I guess is that kind of what you recommend? Yeah, the shotgun mount, mount mounts right here. And there's a special adapter that comes with it when when they order it from us. It's all uh, on the order page. There's all these options. One of the options is a, a 160 LED. We have a new 256 LED, which is a studio light. Um, it comes with a rechargeable battery, and it has AC power. It literally will light up an entire room. If it's, a, if it's an REO listing that has no electricity on, you can literally light up the whole room with this big bar that runs about this big uh, with 256 brightest sunlight LEDs, and you just carry it through the house and light up the rooms as you're going along if you did, if you had uh, poor lighting conditions. Now, you you sell that as a as a package mark on your website is that or do you have to buy everything separate? 
you start with the base, and then you add options as you go. You can add you can add uh, wireless mics or or lavalier mics or shotgun mics. It all depends on you know. So we have you know we sell to golf professionals, and um, they have different uses. They have different needs than a real estate agent does. You know we have we sell to school systems, and they're teaching kids how to use their iPhones and iPads to produce movies. Um, they have different. They order different things, so everybody kind of has their own little niche. Uh, Olympic teams in in uh, in the Olympics this year, they ordered a bunch of them over there to so they could give instant feedback on the iPad. They could shoot with their device, and then they could show the team members the what they were doing right there live. Nice. So that, you know, they they would use different microphones than um, a golf professional uses. That's yeah. awesome. I know that I know I use. I'm about to go and present today to about 40 different uh, 40 dentists here in Palm Beach Gardens and one of the tools that I'm using is, is I'm, I'm gonna use my my iPhone you know I've, I'm gonna use the this is the new iPhone 5 which I'm charging up right now to so make sure that I have plenty of, of juice when I when I go and record but I use I use these Sony this is the microphone and this is the receiver this Sony Bluetooth microphone and I know that you you actually sell this on your on your website too, right? This is one yeah. of this. I know this is one of the ones that you guys recommend. It's it's a little. I my experience with it is is that it's great. It's a little bit uh, bulkier, but it does the job. You can actually be a hundred up to a hundred yards away with this microphone from this base. That's going to be this base is what what actually is going to be attached to the iPhone or the iPad. And this is something that I found that that people get confused with a lot. They don't understand like. That you can actually use a microphone with your iPhone, and this is what allows you to do it. I mean, you can. You had mentioned that you have wired mics. Well, this is a wireless mic, but you can see that as long as you have this little adapter right here, and this, you, you can see off too that this is one that has two on it. So you can actually attach two different microphones, and you could actually even do an interview with somebody if you had two mics. But bottom line is, as long as you have this little adapter right here, this adapter is what turns the signal that comes from this device and translates it into something that the iPhone can then can then use and and will turn it into excellent audio quality so this device actually just attach it, it just connects right at the bottom there at the base in the you know in your typical headphone speaker. you know your your typical uh, headphone you know what, what I'm using right now is my my speak my earbuds that I usually connect right here to my iPhone instead of connecting my earbuds you just connect this adapter and then this adapter connects right to your to your receiver and you're ready to to really to you're ready to to create content with excellent audio quality and this same system can be used with what you've got right there I mean it just you just plug it into that iPhone or the iPad or whatever's on that adapter that you that you just showed. Um, do you have an example of the actual of the light? Um, yeah, I can grab it. Yeah, but, is, it, uh, is, it, is it closer? Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then in the meantime, yeah, I think this is it's yeah it's it's just really neat to. I know that I've used this device uh, many times, and and Mark's got another example of a wired mic, and this. I mean, these, these this device is not very expensive. I mean, you can pick these up. I don't even know um, what what they're charging for them now, but you can actually pick up even a wired mic for like thirty five thirty five dollars. That is is really inexpensive, and the wire extends for about you know twenty thirty feet. And uh, Mark's going to show us here. You're going to you're going to show us the the big daddy. You're going to show us the small. This is one? the uh, this is the small one. It's one hundred and sixty. And that one just 160 LEDs, and this thing just slides in the top. You want to show how? Yeah, just show us how that that attaches there, so people can get a an understanding. And obviously, if you use this, if you use this microphone, then you wouldn't use that shotgun microphone that I was referring to before, because this, you know, this doesn't have a hot shoe attachment. This is just a wireless, you know, wireless mic. Which yeah, is and the nice thing about that mic is, um, on the on the receiver end. You just clip it on and you're you're going. You're not having to sit there and fish wires down a belt in a shirt. Um, there's not that delay of having to set up. It's yeah. just click, clip it on, and you're shooting. You're um, ready. It's, it's it's much you know it's much more suitable for mobile devices where you're wanting to shoot things quick and yeah. not you know have a bunch of fuss. 
Yep. Now, now show show us how you're actually attaching that light to the adapter or to the um, holder. Yeah, this is uh, here, and okay. it just slides on. And then you just like cast. that, and then just cranks down like that. So there it is. Awesome. So that's how that attaches. And then is it? Do you have lights on there, or do you have? Yeah, I don't have any batteries on? right now. No battery. But that's the beauty of that of that system. There is that it, it, everything is portable. I mean, you've in essence got a portable studio that you can take. Oh, there's the big one. There's the big one, and we uh, we ship it out with uh, a solid steel insert in here, so that, so when it mounts onto the case, it's not flopping around at all, even though it's big. And it also has another hot shoe on the top of it. So if you want to add more devices on the top of it, you could actually, you know, put this on the case. Yeah. And then you could actually put more another light if you wanted to on top of that. So we c you could just keep stacking those lights right on top of each other. You yeah, it's just... built. A, it's built a stack. It's a, this is a studio light. It's uh, it's uh, the intensity is in incredible, and it has a rechargeable battery, and it also has the ability for AC power, so you can use it in you know in a studio setting as well, you know, That's as a... well as mobile. And 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 how much do those run generally? That one is uh, one eighty nine, and the other one is sixty four. Wow, I would you know what? I would almost recommend that, that my clients just get one of those one of those for even doing videos like this or doing hangouts. I mean, just all you need is one light like that that you can put on a tripod and put right in front of you and and you're done and just plug it right into the wall. Instead yep. of getting these instead of getting these big, you know, these big umbrella lights that a lot of people get, I mean, just have one little light. It's super compact. You don't have to it's easy to easy to store. Um, you know, I think that's that's really powerful. So, what yeah. industries do you find that these tools? I mean, we've talked about tools a lot. We've talked about gadgets. I mean, uh, you talked about some, the app that, that you were talking about that can make the experience. And I want to show, by the way, a few examples of what the end product looks like. We're gonna. I want to have you do a screen share in a second here to show us maybe some of your clients or customers that are using video to show houses, to do walkthrough tours, to, to show to do move in, move out videos for property managers. Um, but also I want to I just want to get a better idea or understanding of don't you guys do some some video editing um, for businesses or realtors too? Yeah we do uh, you know video editing on HD hat. Um, people film with their iPhones or mm -hmm. standard cameras. They then upload the clips to us, and they fill out a, pro a property information form, and then we uh, we do the editing in one business day. Uh, for twenty nine ninety five, we start at uh, up to forty nine ninety five. Wow! And can you show us some examples of that and what that what that end product looks like? Yeah, let me uh, let me pull one up here. One, give me a second. And and while you're doing that, what what other industries, Mark, do you think would use a tool or a system or products that you that you sell on your HG hat website we, we do a lot like I said we do a lot with school systems um, tennis tennis professionals golf professionals uh, property rental uh, property rental property management real estate um, and you know we've virtually gotten everything I mean we shipped stuff to CNN last week we shipped stuff to Sephora out in California to their corporate offices everybody is starting to use um, their iPad or or mobile device to shoot um, to replace what they used to hire uh, people to do. They're replacing that with doing their own uh, content production. Well, I think it's I think it's more real. I think just like this interview right now. I mean, we are. The, it's no longer is CNN, NBC, ABC, etc. I mean, th those those are they've got the distribution, but ultimately. People, you know, we are the news. We're we're creating. we we have the ability, and this is what I've been. That's how we originally hooked up, is because I saw the power of being able to upload videos right from my iPhone two years ago, when when this was kind of all new, um, directly to, to YouTube or to any of the video channels that are out there. The the many many video channels that are out there, which now are starting to get their own little niches. I mean, you're, so you're starting to see these. These video channels arrive, you know that that kind of have different types. Of, they have a, each one has a different type of personality, if you will. And um, I guess you know that's so. These big companies like CNN and Sephora. It's interesting that you're saying that they're 
going the route of actually shooting the stuff themselves, creating a more, a less, a, a less um, professionally done, but more intimate maybe even feeling to their content that they're creating. Yeah, I think, you know, we sold stuff to Disney. I, I think, you know, in Disney they were using this stuff to shoot some behind-the-scenes stuff um, for, the, for maybe internal use. Um, so um, and, the and, person... And, and, and I don't. I don't. And I'm, I maybe misspoke there and said it's. It's not that the that the it, because that's the whole point of using your products is to make it look professional. But it's. I guess the the better way to say it is that it's not done in the in the standard, you know, with the standard editing and all that other stuff. It's just it's done where it, it, the the beauty of of these devices is that it allows you to really capture the moment that's as it's happening because we have. We all have our iPhones and our iPads with us almost all the time, so right. it, it really allows for a much more candid experience. And the production quality, make make no mistake about it, is really as good, and sometimes almost even better than some of these multi thousands of dollars worth of equipment would have produced at a, a major TV company. Oh, for Correct. sure. You know, on the iPhone, you have a, an app called Filmic Pro 2, and with it, you have every possible imaginable, you know, imaginable setting. Uh, you can shoot 60p, 24p, cinema effects. Um, you know, in in, in a com competition with DSLRs, they they were able to use the iPhone to beat out uh, the DSLR with that app. You know, it's wow. a it's a and it and it also now has stabilizing and settings. Turn the stabilizing on. You're shooting smooth video. With whatever frame rate you want, um, it's amazing. You know what you can do with these devices now, and you got to remember the the target for these most of the, most of this content is the web, so it's not a broadcast, and it's and it's and the target is information now, not information three days from now. Yes. Um, so they have to capture the, the you know great web content and get it delivered quickly. And the only way to do that is with mobile devices, and this just extends the this is extends the ability beyond what your mobile device will do normally, yeah. and 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 creates it at a production level or a quality that's on par with what the TV stations are able to produce. I mean, I would almost, I mean, I've even seen CNN and some of these other big TV stations actually using and leveraging things like Skype. tools that tool. Well, <laughs> Well, Skype and even Google Hangouts now. I mean, they're. They, I mean, they're. They were spending millions, probably, of dollars, you know, using satellite TV and all that kind of stuff. Where now, over the internet, they can produce the same type of quality that that you and I can produce. And they're 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 actually migrating over from what they've used in the years in the past to to, to this type of technology, which I find kind of interesting. Also, so there's kind of a a merging. A blending of the two, and to your point, it's all about information now. And we can upload a video to YouTube and have it go live probably faster than the major TV stations. I mean, I would submit that that, and it actually, you can actually you can go live with a Google Hangout anywhere you want from anywhere in the world, and with for no cost, thank you know, thanks to Google and you know Google's <laughs> Google's tools like this. I mean, it's just it's it's amazing and record the, the the content and and the whole nine yards. So what other what other um you know what other tools do you have or what other information do you want to give people that want? Well, to... let, me, let me go over some examples real quick. Um, HD Hat um is is a video editing company. Um, but I will mm -hmm. qualify that by saying that most of our clients are professionals um, who are looking to have their editing done uh, for less dollars. Um, people who buy the iPhones and iPad devices, they edit their own video um, because they can. It's that simple. You literally, you don't need us if you buy the proper devices for your mobile gear. So they can literally use an app like Luma, they can film stable video, they can throw it in iMovie, and they can edit it and have it up in 15 minutes. Those people, uh, we don't have a lot of examples from them because they don't use us. Um, yeah. We do have some, um, but uh, the majority of stuff, I'll, I'm going to show you an example here. This is uh, an example of our editing. It shows the fly down from space to Google, from, on Google Earth and kind of gives you an idea 
of uh, the professional nature of handheld video, but but uh, but edited professionally. Okay. Let me, give, let me give you an example. Oh, let's see here. So you just go to go to screen share, and then there yeah. you go. I'm there. Okay. You can kind of see the fly down there. That's for a Google, a Google Earth Pro fly down to the actual property. Okay. Yep. So it's kind of a little added effect here. Can you can you blow up your screen a little bit more? Can you make it larger? How's that? Uh, wait. Go back to the screen share again. Okay, screen share. Oops, I'm losing that's the, it here. That's the <laughs> that's the problem with live. You know, this is live live show. Yeah, I'm uh, messing up here. I don't know where I'm at here. Hmm. There we go. All right. Now I'm back on. Go to screen share. Yes. Okay. Let me get back here. This uh, can you see that screen now? No, no. You got to scare. You got to share your screen. All right. Let's just we'll just uh, move off of that then. Let me um, find out where that's at. For some reason I'm having a hard time getting it to go off here. One second. Oh, there we go. Just share your screen. There we go. Yeah, but the Firefox is acting up on on that particular version of Firefox. The the the, the top bar is not working right for some reason. Okay, so are you, are you able to share your screen? Yep. Okay. But I can't uh, pull up that screen because the Firefox is acting misbehaving. Okay, then just just let's just go to YouTube and, and show an example of of one of your you know one of your clients' videos. Yeah, let's do that. Can can you can you share your? Yeah, I'm trying to get. Let me. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what's going on there, but it's. Uh, Mark, you want me to share my screen? Yeah, you can go. Uh, okay, just just tell me where to go. Okay, so I'm I don't gonna, know why I've lost my bar there. I've lost the bar. Okay, so look at look at just go ahead and look at my screen. Okay, so, okay, I'm going to YouTube. You, you, you see my screen? Yeah, one second here. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So we're give me give me a, uh, a keyword. HD hat video. That's our uh, YouTube uh, dot com slash HD hat video. Yeah, okay. that's it. That's our channel there. Okay. So where's an example of one of your clients' videos? Mark anywhere in the channel there. Okay. There's a Bo Bo Boser, Louisiana. Okay. That's a good example. Okay. It gives you an idea of what we do for video editing. They they've submitted five clips to us, and we produce a finished video for them. We syndicate it to, you know, YouTube oh, and a bunch of different. Ready. Three bedroom, okay. two bath home located in narration. Plus school zone is walking distance to the elementary school and less than ten minutes to Barksdale Air Force Base. Okay, so I get I get the, I get the picture here. So this is good. Um, yeah. So you go up, you do a walk, and it's very smooth. Looks very professional. You're painting the room there. Um, that's great. You walk through each room. So literally, you get you get a spatial representation of where the of the layout All the of the bedrooms house. Both new exactly. The backyard features a full wood privacy fence and then an extended brick patio. I'm sure there's don't miss probably an end here that okay. So that's yeah. great. I mean, so that's that's an example of one of your of one of the videos. Is there any other examples that you want to show? Um, that's you know that's that's it. You know, in our store, when people are looking at the iPhone products, there's uh, examples on there. Um, in the universal mount system, there's a uh, a video there that shows a lot more detailed. Uh, we shot in the studio. Shows a lot more detailed uh, video of the device itself. So you can see it uh, with a lot more detail. Okay. Um, 
you know, all this stuff is in our store. There's a lot of videos in there. There's actually a, a video in there of me of shooting with the I, with the iPhone, and it okay. shows you uh, how to step by step shoot a home tour, let's say, with your iPhone. That's um, awesome. You know, and that's that's also in our tutorials. HDHat.com, uh, upper left hand corner, click Learn Tutorials. There's a whole bunch of iPhone tutorials in there. There's a whole bunch of uh, other tutorials on how to shoot a how to shoot a real estate tour. Uh, all that stuff's covered there. Okay. And um, you know, it. I my advice to people is to if you're going to shoot real estate listings or property uh, rentals, is to learn a little bit about uh, the camera before you um, go out and shoot. One of the biggest one of the biggest issues with uh, the iPhone and iPad is exposure, which is the brightness and the focus. Um, they tend to you know it tends to focus in and out in and out. As you're filming, you've probably seen it on yours. Yeah. Um, some of our tutorials cover how to how to stop that from happening. Like for instance, with Luma, when you turn Luma on, whatever you have, whatever the brightness is, it's locked at that brightness, which is nice, and it's locked at that focus, so that you don't have the iPhone going in and out of focus. So an app like Luma solves a lot of problems for a lot of people. Well, it, isn't the the solution to that on the iPhone is just to click on the screen, isn't it, in order to freeze the focus and the screen free and, and the exposure, freeze the, the exposure, yeah, yeah. But other but, programs like Filmic Pro too, they allow you to adjust both both separately. So you have a a square and a circle, and you can move the square, you can move the circle around to change the brightness, and you can move the square around to change the focus, and then you can lock it. So okay. that's why I say if you spend a little time. You know the default app is okay, but it doesn't do any. It doesn't do stabilization near as well as Luma. Okay. Okay. okay great. So, um, if somebody wants to, before we're, we're going to end here in a little bit, but if if somebody wants to find out more information about your products or services, obviously, the the w just give us some some insight on how they'd get a hold of you or what the best route would be for them to go. Yeah, they can email me. It's markethdhat.com. Before we were on this. Uh, uh, hangout. Uh, somebody called me from Texas, uh, a broker, and um, I answered the phone, answered all his questions, um, go over all the the issues he was hoping to solve, and um, he's on his way. You know, he'll he'll order a Universal and he'll be set to start doing his own editing and filming. You know, by early next week. And and really, I think I think what are, what are the obviously they can get a hold of you at hdhat.com also, but what what are the big you know, obviously the equipment's great and the production quality is great, but what are the actual? What does it mean in terms of dollars and cents to the business owner, to the the realtor that's going to incorporate the utilization of these of your tools? Well, I mean, to a real estate agent, a, a walkthrough tour, not a video. I mean, a lot of people assume videos are like a tripod mounted in the kitchen with a nice smooth video. Uh, a walkthrough video is like walking with the agent through the house, in the front door into the living room, through the kitchen, looking at the laundry room, looking at the bedrooms, you know, not not long walks into the small bedrooms, but short walks. Mm -hmm. And um, that that gives the consumer the ability to qualify or disqualify a house without having to go see it. And what that means to a realtor is less showings of a house uh, physically, more showings virtually, less days on market, higher net profit. They're spending awesome. less of their time driving people around, looking at listings, because they're showing the properties virtually online 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They sell it faster at a higher selling price in lower, less days on market. That means the agents we're dealing with, they're all, you know, they've done 200 videos in the last 12 months. They're big time producers, and they are putting other agents out of business purely because of video. They know how to leverage it. They're, it you know, a local real estate market is a pie. And if you get a bigger piece of the pie, someone else gets a smaller piece. That's as simple as it goes. If you wonder, if you think your market's slow, it's probably because there's a few agents out there doing video and doing it right, and they're selling properties faster than you are, and they're going to eat up bigger piece of that pie. That's just the way it is. Okay, and, I, 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 you know, okay. Go ahead. Yeah, and that's just how that's just what happens. You know, in one of our local markets, for instance, we have an agent who uh, did 600000 in commissions last year in, in a market where the average sales price is $92,000. Wow. And I can, I can kind of do the math and figure out how many agents he put out of business in that market, but it was a lot. 
and he and he uses video on every listing. And the first question he asks is, "Have you seen the video yet? I want to yeah. see the house. Have you seen the video yet? No. Take a look at the video. If you still want to see the house, then we'll get in the car and drive, you know, 20 miles across town to look at it. Right. You're 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 leveraging video content so that you're not spending your labor of showing a house that they're that they're not going to like because the kitchen's in the wrong place." Yep. That's, or, a, that's or, the power of video. It's the or, power of to make you sell something without having to physically sell it by being there. That's very powerful. And I, I, I don't know, but I, I enjoy setting up systems that work for me. And this is, a, this is just a great system. And you can obviously help somebody implement this system um, by first and foremost getting them the, the proper equipment so that the walkthrough tours look professional and then also give them the training on how to shoot the video tours and then also you can edit them so that the, the end product is done and complete and uploaded properly and et cetera. The, how would this benefit or what, is the, what does it mean to the property manager? What's the bottom line to a property manager? Same thing as a real estate agent. They can, they can literally uh, rent the property they can have it 99% done before they even go show the property to somebody. But don't, but I think it's even deeper than that because also aren't they able, because I've interviewed actually, I just interviewed a, well, I interviewed um, Andrew Dougal from Hoffman Realty yesterday on this show. And specifically we focused probably the first five to 10 minutes of the interview just on the benefits and that he has received and what's what made him or what makes him a trend setting business in his niche was the leveraging and the utilization of video in not only renting his properties as you just mentioned like just like realtors would use it in, in terms of promoting the property but also in terms of getting the property rent ready because he uses those videos a lot of times and a lot of property managers are, are using them to to hire trades and to also make the the owner aware of the problems and the issues that need to be fixed so the money that that actually gets put back into the property is is more because and, and the property manager gets more money to fix the property because the owner gets to see the property without even going there right and they, get, they get to see the problems and also the uh, a lot of times they can the property management company can work more efficiently because they can send that video out and actually get estimates on the work that needs to be done before the the trades people ever even go out and they'll they'll whittle down the person they want to use and get the best quote based on just sending a video out to three or four trades people oh yeah huge. of course you know we have a we have a case uh, one of our cases in our store it uh, has a leather handle on it and allows you to put your hand up in it uh, so you can carry your iPad around, but it all, we also mount a wide-angle lens to it, and we sell a lot of them to appraisers. They can yeah. film with one hand, use our disto laser with the other hand, and then they can set the laser down and do notes on the iPad, all, all with uh, you know two hands. Right. You know? And uh, that's that's a very popular device with appraisers. The the uh, the iPad case with a super wide-angle lens is great for a golf professional because they can you know with an iPad with a normal iPad you have to stand way back. Right. Um, with with a super wide lens that they can put that camera literally right up to the golfer and they, that way when the golfer wants to see what their swing was they don't have to walk eight feet to see it they can just literally turn around the other side of the iPad or rotate it around and show them here's what you're doing wrong here's how we can fix it flip it back around and start filming again that's powerful stuff for a golf professional he can he can leverage a, a lot more lesson in a lot less time that's awesome. That's awesome, Mark. Well, there's a lot of different applications. I could I could talk to you about this for for many many hours. Um, one last thing, just just introduce us to this this real quick concept of the 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 glasses. Do you have an example of those glasses there that you were telling me about earlier? Uh, or no? go, to, go to hdhat.com. Okay. And you can show a um, a screenshot uh, of them there. You see it in my screen. Uh, I don't see. I'm not seeing your screen right now. Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, there, there we go. Yep, that's it. Those uh, 
they allow you to uh, display your content um, in a way uh, that you couldn't do on a regular uh, flat screen. Um, it's like putting a 40-inch HD TV uh, in a pair of sunglasses. They the the nice you know, head-mounted displays have been around for a while. The nice thing about the Zeiss is, and they're, and they're just actually coming into the country now. But the nice thing about Zeiss is um, those particular ones are super comfortable to wear. So when you put them on, it's like putting a pair of sunglasses on, and they're truly portable. So there's not a big battery pack you got to carry around with it. There's not uh, a big player you got to have. It'll hook right up to your iPhone or your iPad, um, and you can play. 2D and 3D content in them, and each eye has an adjuster, so you can literally uh, adjust the focus on your eyes within seconds, and then you're watching truly immersive content. You can kind of see the earbuds there. You mm -hmm. plug those in. It's a way to deliver content to somebody uh, that you're wanting to train. Let's say you were recruiting a new agent to your brokerage, or and you wanted to show the difference of what your company provides uh, over another company. You want to get their total attention for 30 seconds or for 90 seconds. You can just slide those glasses on, hit the play button, and they're totally immersed in the content with sound and of HD TV. And it can be in a coffee shop, okay. and nobody around would hear it, nobody would see it except for the person that you're you're talking to. So they would. So in other in other words, you would have the the content on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever it is that 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 wherever you have it, what that mobile device, you would connect it here to this shoe, to this to this attachment point here. That signal will then go over through to this to these glasses, which the person would have on, and they would be fully immersed in that content with these earbuds and this and this and these glasses at wherever. And it would be in essence, it would it would be like a fully immersive, almost 3D um, experience for them because they would have these glasses on, and it would it would get it would lead to from what you're saying a better potentially even a better conversion rate because from your experience, they've done studies on this. You said that that a 30 second or maybe a minute presentation is much better retained when somebody has this fully immersive type ex experience versus just seeing it on the on the iPhone itself correct for, for sure for sure yeah you can deliver you can deliver your content in a way that you could never do on a on a flat screen okay uh, and well, and the, the the message retention so if you ask somebody what they saw um on that device versus what they saw it on an iPad, the retention is much greater on the immersive experience than it is on a flat screen. Which only makes sense. So, so anyway, I, we, we've talked a we've we've talked a lot about content. We've talked about content creation, some kind of some bleeding edge type stuff there in terms of the the equipment, uh, and also now we've kind of talked even some some very very cutting edge stuff in terms of this these new glasses. Um, before we before we wrap it up, what what are some? Do you have any final words that you want to say to anybody that's watching this this broadcast? You know, just check out the products um, and look at some of the examples on our site. You can see and, and and don't hesitate to contact me. You know, we are working on a on a 3D lens for the iPhone and the iPad. That's going to be you know all that stuff will be in our store as we get it uh, developed, um, and it will allow you to you know shoot 3D content as well uh, for these glasses. Um, so we're always working on new stuff, you know. And if you have a phone that is not listed there in our in for the universal mount, and just you know, drop me an email, and I can give you a quote on getting you a insert made for it. It's you know we're you know we're not a huge operation. We're small enough now to still stop and do some custom inserts if you have a a phone that's not listed there and, and you need it. I have agents send me their cameras sometimes because they want a wide angle lens mounted on it and They'll send me the camera, and I'll do a custom modification for them, so they can get, uh, so they can start shooting good video. My goal is to get people shooting wide, professional, great quality content, and and doing uh, and doing the whole process themselves uh, for you know for a little bit of money with devices they already own, not going out and having to buy a two thousand dollar DSLR and a five hundred dollar extra lens and and all that. But just the device that's in your hand right now can shoot professional quality video. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for being on, Mark. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link in the description of this video below that you can that you'll be able to click on. It will take you right to the HD HD Hat website, and obviously come by and visit our visit our channel for more in, insightful business trends, TV 
uh, interviews where we have, have interviewed other businesses that are setting trends in their respective industries, just like Mark's doing. And uh, I appreciate you being on the show, Mark, and I look forward to getting an update and, and what's hot and new maybe in another six, six months or so, and, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Sounds good. All right, thanks, thanks a lot, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks. Yep.